get into those warm-ups, everybody. We've got some bum work to go through today. We're going to tone up these jelly-like areas. Squatting down. Let's find the beat there. Five, six, seven, eight. No, I still didn't get it. <laughs> Knees are turned out. It'll catch up with me. Pressing it down. <laughs> yes. Shoulders relax, hands settling on top of those hips, start to scoop tightly through those abdominals. So later on when we head down to the floor after the warm-up session, grab yourself a towel or a cushion. We'll be on our hands and knees for most of the workout, toning into the back of our body, the butt and the hamstring muscles. We'll also add some variations for our other parts of your legs. Lifting, lifting. Come on gang, nice and strong. So let's start to get these warm-ups happening. Sinking it down, four more, and three ready to jump the feet together, let's go. Take yourself off into a little bit of a march position and get ready for an easy walk on the right leg. Step it out, back to centre. Shoulders are relaxed still. Good. Try not to go too deep into the squats just yet. It's very, very important that regardless of whatever you're going to be doing in terms of your exercise routines for the day, always start with some form of a warm-up and end your session with some stretches. Okay, very, very two important workouts, components of your exercise routine. Even if you're going to take yourself out for a little bit of a walk around the park, just roll your shoulders back a few times, do some nice easy marches, some simple stretches, then off you go. And when you come back, walking tends to aggravate a lot of lower back problems. Another good stretch is to lie down on your back, pull your knees into the chest. Okay. Pressing it through. Two more. Now we're going to tap change. Easy walk on the left. Out and back. Out and back. Sinking down. Let's keep your hands on top of your hips for another set of eight. Sinking back. Strike through your heel. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Four more, please. And two. And three. Last time, four on the right side again. Take it out. A little bit wider this time. Good. Tap change, do it on the left, out. I'm gonna break it down, do two of each after this. Ready, two on the right. Easy for two, tap, and the left. Now we're gonna do one of each now, so one easy on the right, little tap change, and we're gonna add a turn step. Scoop those arms out, keep your shoulders nice and relaxed, scoop it. Open up the palms of your hands, reach. And gimme, gimme, gimme more. <laughs> Take it out, everybody. Press and press. Now stay with us for another four counts. One, tap it. Two, tap it. Three, <laughs> tap it. Stay here. And we're going to step kick. <laughs> Come on, Mia. <laughs> You're forgetting to tap. Oh, you were just going from one leg to the other. All right. So this is your next move. Little kick step. Hold that tummy muscle in so you're not arching into the lower back. Flick it out. Two more counts. One more. Let's go back to your turn step. Go. One, two, three, and tap it. Again, please. Now we've got three more to go and we're going to be landing on our left side. This is the last one. Stay here, girls. And add your little kick step. Come back there. Big lunge for it. Come on, Poppy. Show me some legs. Yeah. <laughs> Stretch it out. Come on, gang, at home, kick those legs up. Here we go, we've got eight and seven, six, five, four, three. Let's do those turn steps again. Out, reach the arms, come on. Take it easy on your knees now. Three more. And two, last one. Let's add your kicks here. Hold it and kick it, pump. Now, instead of kicking the legs, Let's try bringing the knees high up in towards your body. Keep your arms bent. So pumping, this is gonna be really strong. Push and back, push and back. We've got four. Now from here, because we're facing into the left side of the room, we're gonna add a march to the left side. Here we go. March it, add a kick, clap, do it again. So we're kind of marching on a diagonal. Now the march forward will change to a chasse. And two, then we march back. Chasse, chasse. It's a little hop, shoulders nice and relaxed. Four more, big step. Marching back. Now complete two more repetitions. We'll join the whole thing together. This is the last one. Ready for the turn step? Off you go, gang. One, two, three. 
Scoop those arms up, big, big movements. Let's go for three. Up, up. One more, stay where you are, hold it here. Change it to a kick step. So, and then pump those knees up. Now we're gonna march on a diagonal to the right side. Off you go. So we'll see you soon. We're heading down to the floor in, after this routine. And catch up with us, don't forget, we've got some butt work to go through. Now, if it's causing you some concern being on your knees for a few moments, what you can do is immediately put a cushion underneath your knees to help buffer those areas. Often it's a sensitive spot for a lot of people who can't kneel. So try the cushion trick and see what you can do here. I will show you some alternative exercise in a few moments. So I'll just set you up for the next one. We want strong arms. If your arms are unstable and they're bending all over the place, you're going to cause instability across the shoulders. Now stretch your right leg behind the body. Be sure that the pelvis is not twisted or rotated. We want them in a nice, neutral and stable position. Use your abdominal muscles, and then all we're gonna do is lift the back leg up for two counts. Okay, so it's one, two, come down three and four. Noticing it's just a tiny little movement. Press, press, up, squeezing the bottom, down, down, up, up. Hold that tummy in, everybody. Take it down, down. Lift, lift, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Bring that knee to the floor. Give yourself a stretch and bring your arms in with you. Create a nice triangle shape with the position of your arms, one hand stacked on top of the other. Now let's take it through the other side. So assess your hip position, strong through the arms. Left leg goes behind the body, five, six, seven, eight and one. Two, little bot bottom squeeze at the top. Reach, reach. Be sure to rest your weight evenly on the three points of the body. Down and down. Pick it up, up. Tiny movement. It's best that you try to keep your eyes looking at your hands so your neck muscles get a chance to release. Coordinate the movement with the breathing. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. So watch once again if you're starting to sag or lean too strong into the opposite hip. You want to keep the weight balanced on those three points. Four. Coming down. Three. Coming down. Lift it two. Lower. One more time and up, up, down and down. Return the knee to the floor. Drag your arms in with the body and give yourself a nice little bit of a stretch there. And we're going to repeat that exercise again. So if you can't manage kneeling, I'll show you an alternative now. Perhaps one of the girls will get Vanessa and Taryn to do it this way. So some of our viewers will do it like this, and then we'll get um, Mia and Poppy to stay up onto their knees. So girls, it's an alternating leg raise. The girls out the back are just going to raise one leg, moving from one to the other, still working into the butt. Otherwise, let's go, gang. So it's one, two, down, and two. That's great, Taryn. Alternate one leg to the other. Terrific, Vanessa and take it down. So you can see there are two positions that you can get into. Lift it. Now everybody needs to ensure that the neck muscles are not being strained. So if your head is held up too high, regardless of whether you're lying on your tummy or up on your hands and knees, don't try to raise the head too high because you'll only end up straining your neck. One more to go. And then return the knee, goes out the back. You want to come up onto your knees and give yourself a stretch. So those of you at home, if you've been lying on your tummy, as Taryn and Vanessa were demonstrating, come back up onto your knees and give yourself a nice little stretch. Now let's set up and do the other side. So remember to realign your neck position. Tummy's tight, ready, and it's one, two, three, and four. Lift it. Now if you're set up in the position as Taryn and Vanessa is demonstrating, be sure to alternate. So go from one leg to the other. Brace your abdominal muscles to try and keep your hips in a stable position. Up, up. Remember to squeeze the bottom at the top. Push a little tighter there. Neck is soft. You may lie, choose to lie the head down on top of the arms if you're in a prone position. Four, 
take it down, good, and reach it too. Nice little squeeze at the top of the lift. One more to go, gang. Well done. All right, so there you go. Always finding ways to help you overcome any problems or that you may be experiencing during your exercises so that you're at least doing something, okay? Give yourself a nice little stretch here. Stay in this one just a wee bit longer. Now the next exercise, you're gonna to have to flip yourself over. We call this the pelvic lift. I'll set you up and we'll do this in our next segment. All the sand, <laughs> I feel like I'm on the beach. Lie the head down, gang. And all you're simply gonna do is raise your hips up for two counts, squeeze your bottom when you get to the top. So practice this little movement on your own at home. Don't come up too high. You wanna ensure the weight stays sitting on top of the shoulders, not the neck. We'll see you soon. So our arms are down, you're going to have to excuse my hand, so I'm just trying to um, stop the sun from shining into my eye. If you can just have both of your arms on the mat beside the body. Now folks, if your feet are too far away, you're not going to be getting that support from your legs which you'll need for this exercise. So work your feet right up towards your bottom. And the other thing you need to check is that the toes are not rotated out or in, because the legs are used quite a lot to help support the pelvis. You're going to raise your hips up, Okay, when you get up here, be sure you're resting on a part of your upper back as well as the shoulders. So never, never on the neck. Even in this position, if your neck is causing you any problems, come down and sit out of this exercise. Perhaps it's not, you're not quite ready for it just yet. Now keep your eyes looking straight up to the ceiling. You're gonna drop your tummy muscles in, squeeze the bottom tight. You can see all the girls there, they're really working hard in squeezing. Now the next variation is gonna squeeze the inner thighs together, just a tiny movement. So imagine you've got a beach ball, between your knees, you're gonna squeeze into the beach ball, creating some form of resistance. You don't wanna make the movement too big where you're starting to roll the feet in and out. So we don't want that happening. Okay? If that is happening, you need to probably try bringing your feet closer together. So work the inner thigh muscles here. If you're starting to feel yourself straining in the lower back, try coming down a little lower to the ground. So continue the exercise otherwise. Reach the arms long. Squeeze it and open. Now as the legs separate, don't let the knees come out any further than the hip distance. Really control. Keep the weight on the tops of the feet. That's the way. Squeezing the bottom at the top. Hang in there for another set of eight. Squeezing seven and six. Five, one of my favorite exercises for butt work. Four more. Drop the abdominals. Three more. Two, last one and then gently roll yourself down through the length of your vertebra, your spine, let your lower back settle into the mat. When your body feels it's ready enough, start to grab the legs into the chest and give yourself a nice little stretch. How did that feel? Good one? Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. It's very rare that we include these sort of exercises in today's in our shows. So hopefully you've enjoyed that. Now, if you're feeling a little tired and fatigued in the lower back, sit this last segment out. Otherwise, prepare your hips. Up we come again, girls, we're gonna repeat it. Squeeze your bottom at the top. You can notice all the girls, they've got their arms fully stretched. They've got their weight resting right across the back of the shoulders, not at all through the neck. In fact, why not do this little test here before you start with the roll in and roll out. Raise your head quickly up. Now if you found that was quite easy, settle the head down and that's an indication that the neck, the neck is not under stress. You're not placing the load of your body weight on your neck. Hold it there for another count, four, three, two. Now squeeze it in and out, squeeze. Tiny movement, gang, tiny one. Work on that bottom, squeeze it tight. That's the way, squeeze it, squeeze it. How does that feel? Can you feel it working by now? Eight, seven, continue reaching your arms long. Imagine you want to touch your shoes with the tips of your fingers. Four more. Vanessa, are you okay with the back? Okay, good. Poppy, you're fine. Let's try to keep your arms down. That's the way. Two more. One more. Now hold it right here. Get that little bit more of a lift up high 
And then as you roll down, just come down through each vertebra very, very slowly. Don't just collapse there. The tailbone should be the last part of the body to connect to the ground. Scoop your knees into the chest and give yourself a glute stretch. So you're going to cross one leg over the other and ease your knees into the chest and stretch out this area of the body. That was great. Okay, let's try that on the other side. Stretch it out. Let it go. I know leg exercise is often favored more by women than men, but guys, you need your leg and butt work as well, okay? So hopefully you're not moaning and groaning whenever we say, we're gonna do some legs today. I know you probably enjoy the abdominals and the upper body exercises more, but we all still need to challenge these areas of body. Okay, we need you to come up in a sitter position all the way up here. So there you go. That was really, really nice. Hope you enjoyed it. Please cross your legs. Stretch your body over your thighs and give yourself a nice big stretch in this position. Hold it. There you have it. I had you from kneeling position to an alternative position, lying on your tummy to do some more butt work. Then we had you flipping yourself around to include some more butt work. So that's I promise. A lot of bottom exercises. These are very, very large muscles and they certainly take a pounding, so include some walking. Walking is excellent for toning your bottom as well. Stretch it out, cross that other leg out in front, bring the body up, lifting it over here. Stairs, climbing stairs are excellent for toning up your legs and your bottom. Well, we've got some more stretches coming your way, so please hang around and we'll see you very, very soon. This is a great stretch. You'll need to lean on your hands though. So if you want to take your shoes off at this point, go, go ahead. Take one leg, pop it over the other. It's another glute stretch, but it's a little bit more intense. And then what you can do is to increase the intensity of the stretch is draw your body closer in towards the upper leg and feel that stretch working there. How's that one feeling? Good, nice stretch. Oh, there you go, hold it up tall. Remember, if this is not a good position for your body to be in, get back down onto your spine, lie down as we previously demonstrated, and cross your leg one over the other for so another variation in the glute stretch. And releasing it, let's try the other side. So lean the body back to allow that leg to come up, pull the chest up towards the thigh, releasing it. Hold the stretch, abdominals tight, open up strong through the chest area reach to stay in it just a wee bit longer. Stretches are effective if they held approximately 20 to 30 seconds longer if you can manage it if you've got more time. Okay, that's when they're most effective. They really tend to do their job if they're given the opportunity. So just stay in it if you're a bit longer. A few seconds here and there is not really going to do much for you. And releasing it. Okay gang, let's come up onto your knees. So buffer up those knees of yours. Moving into a hip flexor stretch, lunging forward, allowing the shoulders to pull themselves back to get that stretch into that hip area. Pull the tummy muscles in, shoulders settling down. And releasing it. Let's try that on the other leg. Let it go. Stay right here. Well done. Now we're going to stand for the last few stretches. So very, very slowly come up, facing into the front of the room. Stretch the legs out now. It was wide. Pull up strong through the abdominals. Get that stretch working over to the side. This other hand, avoid leaning any weight into the sensitive area of the knee. Instead, just rest the hand along the leg. Eyes turning downwards. You're looking down towards the leg you're stretching into. And lift the body up. Bring this arm up first center up and reach the body down sliding the hand down just resting it against the knee with no pressure applied good and releasing it now soften up those legs scoop the arms forward scoop the tummy in and let's go the opposite direction open up the arms 
push your thumbs behind you, open up strong through the chest, pull up everything tall through the front of the body. And squeeze your bottom a little bit tighter. Now, some shoulder rolls. Take it over, widen up the legs, and we go one and two, three and four, five and six, seven, both arms going up on the breath in, one, two, three and four, and down, two, three and four, again. Breathing out, shoulder rolls again. One and two, three and four, again. Okay, both arms climbing up. Take a big breath into the body. Release it down to the side. One more time all the way up. Now I'd like you to have your feet together for this next one. We're gonna do a little bit of a bend and stretch to stretch out the muscles of the lower legs. Ankles, calves, okay, bend slowly. Two more. Standing up very, very tall. You're gonna rise up on the tops of the feet. Up you come. Up we go, strengthening exercises for those ankles. And two more. What's the point of having nice bottoms if your ankles are weak and your legs are not strong enough? So it all comes in a package. Four more times, lift up tall. And two, and three. One more time, everybody. Now, for some people, bending forward can be a real problem, particularly if they've got very, very sensitive backs. If this is of concern to you, be sure that you contact your doctor and discuss your issues, your concern with him or her. Otherwise, we're going to try and attempt ourselves by leaning the body forward. Be sure to soften your knees so you're using your leg muscles to carry the load. Bring your body down until you can feel the stretch working into the lumbar area, the lower back. And then as you roll up, come back up slowly. Okay and shoulders moving back and down. Now we hope you've enjoyed today's session. It's not often that we do present an exercise specifically targeting, targeting one part of the body. Take care of yourself and be sure to join us again for your very next workout.